Hello, testing, testing. Okay, this is me. I'm excited so far that in the name of Jesus, I just pray and cover this webinar. Super excited before the attendees come in. We got four minutes. Okay, I'm hyped. I'm excited. Are you ready? How I'm looking. Okay, I'm you in.
Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Y'all in here, you in here, say what's up in the chat. Do I need to let y'all in? Talk back to me and let me know if you are in here. Hey, what's up, everybody? Oh, I'm super excited. Are you all excited? It's your girl, Lady Tyler Gray, and we are here. We made it. How are you doing? Hey, what's up, Autumn's mom? Look at you all. Come on, everybody connect with somebody. Let us know where you are from. What's going on? Welcome to the Triumph Over Trauma webinar. It's your girl, Lady Tyler. Great. I believe in the greater in you. I am so, so excited. Thanks for tuning in. Chicago's in the house. Hey, get comfortable, right? Get comfortable, get seated. Hey, 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 hey. Welcome. All right, what's up? Hey, I see Kali here. Hey, I see Marvin, Sheila, Jason. Come on, Janine, Daryl, Sierra. All right. Okay, let's see. Let me know if y'all can hear me. Get some equipment, don't know how to act right. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? I'm excited. Well, y'all already know. This is going to be your favorite webinar. Right? Okay, everybody can hear very good. Very, very, very good. We getting ready to get started. It is 5.02. Thank you so much for jumping in here. Does it sound loud or do you guys like it how it sounded before? Ah, you made it! Yo, shout out to Words Taylor. Words is in the house. If you know anything, let me tell you what you need to know. I am organized and we are here due to his push. Everybody needs somebody in their life that pushes and encourages them and takes them to the next level. So I'm super excited. And uh, listen, let's just get started. What you came for, this is what we're going to do. So it's your girl, Lady Todd, the great... And I am super excited because today we are going to talk about the five steps to become a self-published author. First of all, let me tell you how I wanted to do so much more than what I'm doing now, right? I had big plans. I wanted to do this. I wanted to do that. But this is all part of the process. When you are doing something for the first time, and this is my first webinar. Come on, Triumph Over Trauma. Come on, let's give it up. Give it up for first time webinar. Whoop, whoop. And many of you are on here, and this is your first time being an author. Hey, Patricia, you made it in here. Come on. Look, you better 15 attendees. Y'all better be great in these streets. Okay. And we had over um, 79 people register. So that's amazing for us doing something for the first time together. Many of us are first time authors or second time authors. Right. And um, so I'm excited today that we are here and we are all leveling up, going to that next level together. So because of you all, we're here because people were inquiring, how can they do this, right? And so now I just want to share with you, and you know, I'm transparent and honest. These are my notes. Y'all like my notes? Now I wanted to get all, you know, bougie on you and drop these slides and do all these amazing things. But what I am going to do is I'm going to show you how to do something in the process. So we're going to do a work together, even on this live. And we're not going to be on here for long. Okay, well, we are going to be on here for an hour in 15 minutes, that's the plan. But the good news is those of you who have tuned in and registered is gonna get the replay. So I'm hyped and I'm excited about it. But I wanted to share with you some things. The first time you do anything, we get a little nervous, right? Let's admit, first time me doing this webinar, I'm like, oh my goodness, I gotta get the mic, I gotta get this, I got the umbrella light over there, the sunlight is not doing what I needed to do, right? Should I be like this, is that better? I think this is better. Oh, okay. How y'all feeling? I'm feeling this look right here. Okay. <laughs> and so let's just discuss some things. We all must crawl before we walk. Okay. Walk. You like how I said that? Calm down. That's the unique thing about you. You're a human being and you may do things in your own way. And what prevents you from doing things is trying to perfect it. You have a fear that you won't get it right. So you just don't do it at all. You haven't even written your book because you're afraid, not saying you, but some people are so afraid of what may happen. So let's jump straight into this thing. If we understand that as we were born as children, right, we had to crawl before we walk. 
we get to walk before we run. Those of you that join in on this webinar are taking the chance and believing in yourself. And so I wanna give a hand clap to you. Come on, hand clap, clap it up. Yes, yeah, celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself for pressing that button. And so why write a book? First of all, you are a book. You're an entire story. You have a beginning and an end. Okay, no matter what you believe in, we have an author and a finisher, right? Hello, there's a start and there's a finish date. And that dash, that life that you live, those things that you overcome, the fact that you're still here, you made it. You pressed past something. You understand what I'm saying? You, you might not look at it as, whoa, this is something I can write about and this can help somebody else. Who would have known that my book, Daddy Issues, me having issues, guys, I wrote a book about issues and the book sold over a thousand copies. Let's just do the math on that. Me talking about issues that I have sold over a thousand copies. The book is priced at $25. Can we just talk real right here? The book is priced at $25. Who can do the math? What is 1,000 times 25? Okay, $25,000. That's how much money I made over my book and then some. Over a book that, first of all, that I didn't even wanna write. And you may say, well, why'd you write it? Okay, I wrote this book in obedience. I wrote this book as a person who did not like to read. I wrote this book as a person who did not like to write. So what am I saying to you? If I am able to write a book, and these, these are, this, I still kind of feel this way, guys. I'm an author four times plus over. And look at this. this. This is my work. I designed the cover of the book. Let me show you something. Because I know the type of reader I am, I wrote this book for other people that did not like to read. And I'm going through this showing you what I've done because this is what you're gonna do and even greater. Okay, I believe in you. Now look, I did chronological order. What does that mean? It just means the order of time. I started off when I was eight, this and that. So I went in the time frame of my life. And then look at the book. It's big spaces. You may say, what? Yes, people are buying this book for $25 and I have spaces in it. Why? Because the type of person I am, if you show me too many words at one time, I'm like, oh, I'll look at that later. You feel me? So I'm catering to the type of reader that I am. So this is what's going on. So this book right here, little back piece in the back. So we're about to talk about how you are going to self-publish your book, but I want to get some things out the way. We have to talk about mindset first, okay? And so I was going to do slides and all of that stuff, but guess what? I'm going to give it to you just like this. We're going to talk it out and then y'all can slide out. How about that? <laughs> okay. So listen, um, why should you write a book? Because you have a story, period. You already have a story. You already have a book on the inside of you, but what's happening? It's just not written. Why not make 25K? You don't want to make that? Why not make 25K? What are the benefits of a book? A book opened doors for you. Some people are speakers. Some people have podcasts. Some people are coaches. Some people are teachers. And they don't even have a book. Okay, what happens when you have a book? Now, I got booked to speak somewhere before I had a book. And I was talking and it was nice. And I waved at everybody and took pictures. But I got booked after I had my book and I got a table. I had to put product on a table. I got to take pictures and sign my book. And I, not only did I get an honorarium, but I also received money for my book. And how good and great did that feel? So what I'm talking to you right now about is mindset. So all of you already opted in, you're already right here. So you already got the right mindset. You're already hyped, you're already ready, right? So I'm excited, but I need you to understand why you need a book, right? And you understand that you are a book and now, Everybody's an author, but just not everybody writes it. How many of you listen to rap music, R&B, hip hop? These are all stories being told through song, through poetry. It's still a story. We watch movies, that's a story. So why not jump in on that, okay? And so I'm just excited because it's time for you now to triumph over your trauma. I understand that there's a process and um, some people may feel like, how can I write something I haven't healed from? Well, that's what I specialize in, right? Listen, we only 10 minutes in this webinar and it's lit. Are y'all with me? Thank you. Okay, hey, what's up all 20 of y'all? Come on in the room. And so don't forget to shout out where you from, right? Um, and so I'm so excited because look at all of these authors that's about to be birthed. Look at all these people that's about to get re-excited. You, you know, Michael Jackson has a song. He's got a couple songs. Heal the world, make it a better place. How can you heal the world? If you 
went through something and you overcame that thing, now you can share how you overcame. I don't know if you meditated. I don't know if you prayed. I don't know if you fasted, but you know what you did. You know your story. So what I'm doing right now is I'm unlocking you right now. And I'm letting you know that you are important. Your voice matters. You are needed. You are necessary. Okay. And so all jokes aside, um, no dead people registered for this webinar. I know y'all making y'all like, what is she talking about right now? Listen, in Georgia, some dead people voted. <laughs> come on, come on. Take a minute to laugh. Relax, relax, relax. They said in Georgia, some, some, some people came out from the grave and voted. But nobody that passed away registered for this webinar. What am I saying to you? That heaven may not have a publishing company. And you may be saying, what are you talking about, Ty? So many people said that they were going to write their story, but they let procrastination get in the way. They stopped right where they were. Do you understand what I'm saying? They said, oh, I'm gonna do it later. And they don't have that chance, but that's not you. You have a chance to tell your story. You have a chance right now. So don't take for granted this opportunity, this life and the breath that you have because there are people who cannot speak. And now we're reading obituaries and it says what somebody else had to gather about them. That's not gonna be your story. You have a gift on the inside of you. There's a scripture that says, and this is not church, calm down. But there's a scripture that says, will a man rob God? And there's another scripture in the story that talks about people that had different talents, right? They were given different things and one person buried theirs and didn't do anything with it. The other people, they multiplied theirs. What I wanna ask you is what will you do with yours? Your life is a gift, not only a gift to you, what you do with your life and what you do with your story. Right now, it's burn, hit the buzzer, make a decision. You know, what you're going to do with your life story, whatever it is that's on the inside of you, make a contribution to this earth. We are in the land of the living. Contribute to those so they can know how to get through what you overcame. So I'm excited, Triumphant One. Now, what I need you to do is uh, to just tell me, some people tell me in the chat, what's actually stopping you or preventing you from writing your book? And let me know where you are in this process of writing your book. Okay, have you already started your book? Is your, are you a first time author? Do you um, already have a book, right? Come on, talk to me and let me know. And let's just think about why people don't write. So share with me, okay? First time author, oh, look at all these first time authors in the house. Okay, you don't know where to start. Okay, you in the right place because we're getting ready to hop right into that. First time author, yes. Okay, information overload, got it. First time author, Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, there we are. First book. All right. Okay, first book over two hundred pages. All right. First time. All right. Welcome, first timers. Well, listen, I'm a first time webinar. <laughs> How you like that? Okay, listen. So we're gonna get through this journey together. This is my book. First time, a thousand copies sold. Been on radio shows and everything that I've done. I'm gonna show you how to do, and that's what I'm here doing right now, sharing with you, giving you the exact. Formula. Okay. Marvin says always one and two, just don't know where to start. Awesome. All right. Getting poems together. Samantha says amazing. Book is finished. Don't know how to publish or self publish. All right. Awesome. Hey, uh, Phyllis, what's up, sis? Okay. So I'm so excited. So let's address those things. Um, and some people, these are some other things why people don't write. Some people believe, like, well, who would listen to me? They feel overwhelmed. They don't know where to start. That's what we said, right? So the good thing is if you, um, if you feel overwhelmed, we, I, we got something for that, right? If you don't know where to start, we're about to go through this ebook for that, right? If you're afraid of what others think and have a fear, well, I got something for that too. So everything that you guys have mentioned, we have the solution. Okay, River, River says the right way to say things. And this is what I love. And so this is why um, I'm so excited about this book selling over a thousand copies, because guess what? This is not the perfect book. If you wait to create the perfect book or the perfect anything, you know, a, a completed project is better than a perfect project. So what I want to say to you, there is no perfect project. So um, this book right here, with flaws and all has sold over a thousand copies. It has impacted the lives of others. Now, if I waited to make it perfect, to get this, to get that, then it wouldn't have ever been written, guys. All right, we're doing great on time. First time author, hey, Daryl, welcome. 
currently writing and proofreading. Okay, worried about what to say. Is it okay, especially considering family? Now, that is a humongous one, Toya. Thank you for bringing that up. Um, and this is why it's important when you write, you have to realize you have been entrusted with, 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 the, with the tool. Now, this is not a tool. This is actually a pen. It looks like a tool. So I write with this pen, right? And as I write with this pen, I am releasing something in the earth. I'm leaving a mark. So even when I'm not here, people will read it. So even as I wrote about daddy issues, I had solutions, right? I was getting healed while I wrote. And this is why it's important to have someone in your life, whether it's a coach, a guide, a mentor, but someone that you look to that has accomplished what it is that you're trying to accomplish. So I started my book with issues, but this is just not a, this is not a book of blame, of hurting others, of downplaying anybody. As I wrote the book, I reread what I wrote and I began to see things differently. A healing took place. And that's the process that I wanna help those of you from, those of you with, right? I want us to triumph over our trauma together. And so I'm excited to help you go through that process. And um, that is such a great point because we wanna write from a healed place, not from a pain place. And you may say, well, how do we get there? We gather, right? Don't worry, and we're gonna get there. And so that's a process that we go through together. You just don't, you know, you just, the blame game, right? What to say without um, offending. Yeah, what to say. Uh-uh, sorry about that fancy noise. What to say without offending um, the family. Yes, you don't want to offend anybody. And this is why it's so important. So let's just talk about this. I'm going to do this. Um, let me see. I'm going to pull up this on Google. Have any of you ever had a clogged sink before? Hmm? Has anybody ever had a clogged sink before? Well, you know, a clogged sink has gook in it, right? Um, sinks get clogged for many reasons. And let's just probably take a look at a sink that gets clogged. Uh, this picture is not going to be pretty, but um, let's check it out. Where you guys at? Um, let's see. Yeah, no. Okay, screen share. There it is. I'm gonna share this. So this is a picture of a clog sink. You see it? Ooh, look at all that yucky stuff in there. So do you guys actually see it? So the clog sink. Um, this is what it's like in our life, like you have some running water, right? And you, you've got something to say, you've got an amazing encouragement and motivation, but on top of that, you've also got a clogged sink. You've got something going on. You guys see it? Something, something blocking you. Do you understand what I'm saying? You have something blocking you. So it's not allowing you to actually say or go through. Okay, look, I didn't hit a button. How do I get back? So it's not allowing your message to come through freely. This is funny. So I'm gonna hit X on that. And how do I hit exit on this? Okay, there we go. Screen sharing has stopped, good. Okay, so what I'm saying to you is having a clock sync, those are family issues. Those are uh, different things going on. Those are offenses. Those are areas of unforgiveness and bitterness that you haven't yet dealt with, right? Um, some people that you may have, you tried to forgive, but it's just not clear. So what we wanna do is clear out that area. So we do definitely wanna talk about um, forgiveness, unforgiveness, and we wanna go through a process of forgiveness. And that's what I teach and that's what I offer and that's what I go through with people. So so you may write out how you feel. Have you ever, you know, when you go to school and you write a letter, right? Uh, you do the first draft, you do the second draft, right? <laughs> yeah, you come on, Joy, you do a first draft, right? And then you reread it. Okay, never mind that. You ever sent a text and was like, okay, look, you got the text going and then you just read it again. I was like, no, let me erase that and send that back. Well, that's exactly what we want to deal with. So that's what we mean when we say it's time for us to triumph over our trauma. You may have experienced something that was horrible and gooky, but now we need that thing cleared out. 
So it is important for you to get everything that's in you out of you. So we're uprooting the pain, the bitterness, the unforgiveness. And even as I'm talking to you, some of you are still in denial about there being some deep hurt. And some of you are not, but there are some things that need to come out. There are some things that have been hidden that you haven't even addressed. You haven't even looked at. And your perspective on it is jaded. Your vision on it is not clear because you're still hurt behind it. You're still um, sad behind it. You're, you feel what I'm saying? So there is a process to that. So once we get the gook cleaned out, then it's all good. Now your waters can flow. And so that's what I'm talking about. So what if you're here with that person and because it's a part of your story, you got to tell it. Okay, so what if you're healed with that person, but because it's a part of your story, you got to tell it, but they'll be offended. Okay, so example, like for me, you guys know I've been through plenty great things, right, inside my book, but I never named anyone in my book. And I, when you write, reread what you write. And Toya, you're already in the course together. Like you're already in a course with me. So we're going to be going through those things and we're going to have um, a chat together. So we'll go through that. And that's an excellent story. So you may be healed from it. You know what I mean? And how you present it will show that you are healed from it. How you view things and how you speak about things speaks volumes. Now, um, something horrible could have happened, but the way you describe it and the viewpoint from which you see it would make the most work. Somebody else would say, oh my goodness, that's so horrible. And you would say, no, it worked out for my good. Like for me, I've been through many different things, right? Um, been through molestation, been through domestic violence, but now I'm able to minister and talk to all of these people in those different areas. And even when I go speaking on these different topics, because I'm coming from a healed place, you understand what I'm saying? I, I have to now say, okay, how do I want to present this? What is my message to the world that they can survive it? And that that's not going to kill you. It's only going to make you stronger. So it really worked together for your good. Okay. So um, now here we go. And we're getting ready to hop on um, into the book. And so also, um, very good questions, though. Y'all keep the questions and all that um, amazing stuff going. So um, is that you? It's time for you to overcome, right? So I'm excited for you guys. Let's take a look at this. I'm going to pull up the book so we can get into what you came for. Now, many of you were able to uh, receive the free ebook that I was offering. And I'm so excited that you did how to self-publish your book. I'm going to screen share again. Thank y'all so much. Yes, here we go. And Kali says, write with love if you have been healed, right? And sometimes we can think we're healed. Like, I promise you, I thought I was healed. I was like, what? I forgave them. And when I wrote that thing, honey, God said, read it again. I was like, what? Okay, share screen. Here we go. Bam. And share. Okay, so now let's talk about this. Let me move this bar over here. Can I move this? Move out the way. Um, is this in you guys' way or no? Or is it just in my way? I'm just gonna click on this. Can you see it? Okay, so this is five steps on how to self-publish your book. Can you guys see it? How does it look for y'all? I don't know. Okay, five steps to how to self-publish your book. Now let's look at the five steps. How to create your story, book format and layout, book cover and design, how to self-publish and print, what you need to sell your book. These are different resources. If you can, go ahead and take a screenshot. Some people already have this that are already in the writer's course that we have. Okay, so many people have questions about um, what is an ISBN number? An ISBN number is basically your book's social security number. So what I wanna say to you, Calm down, relax. Remember, you can do this. If Lady Ty did it, and you can ask my mama, I'm not a techie person. If my computer password messed up, I don't, I'm ready to throw the whole computer in the garbage, okay? But this is me. <laughs> um, so an ISBN number is your book social security number. So this is a book. Many of you see ISBN number right there. That's the ISBN number. And so this is a way that people identify and find your book. Right. So if you call a bookstore and say, hey, can you sell my book? They will ask you for the ISBN number so they could look it up and see if they want to carry it. 
of copyright.com.gov. This is where you will go to get your copyright. You want to get your copyright. Otherwise, somebody will copy what you wrote. <laughs> okay. And you can't sue them. So this helps prevent that. And the copyright is about $35. Um, and you can go to that site and they give you that information. Um, KDP, right? Dot Amazon.com. This is where you will go. KDP stands for Kindle Direct Publishing. And what Kindle Direct Publishing is going to do is this is a place where you will upload your book, your layout, you can create your format and all of those different things. Um, you will be able to do that on KDP. This is where you're going to go to self-publish and to print. Now, if you do not purchase an ISBN number, that's the social security number. If you do not purchase the ISBN number upfront, you, and if you don't have the shmoneys, you can go to KDP and they will give you one. But fair exchange, no robbery, they are not just going to give it to you for free. They're going to want to be the publishers of your book. Yes, you are still self-publishing because you're handling everything yourself, but this means that you would not be able to republish with another publisher if they're interested in buying your book. Now for a first time author, that's the route that I went and I still don't see anything wrong with it. I love that route because I didn't have anything. I started with, started from the bottom, now we're here. Okay, I used what I had and it was basically my pen and paper. Okay, y'all laughing. <laughs> okay, so um, DiggyPod is another place that you can go and print. But KDP is where you're gonna spend most of your time. And so this is where I went to KDP to produce my book. At that time, it was called Creative Space and um, produced my book. And I also produced other books, right? And um, the layout, they, I, well, this image I discovered, I did the image and I did the cover on my own and you can do the same thing. It just has to fit within their guidelines and their formatting, okay? Um, excuse me, 48 hours of printing, that's another place that you can go to. These are things that you need. You need PayPal. Um, and this spot right here, exquisite, probably say it wrong. I'm your girl, Lady Tide of Great Holy Hood. But um, right here, this is a store that I use and these are apps to collect money. So you wanna get your apps together to collect money. Now, I just basically went over this stuff, but this is it written in detail, explaining to you what an ISBN number is, the barcode at the back. Um, step one, create your story. How to create your story. First, let me say you got this. I think I told you guys that already, right? There are different elements of writing, different structures, and you can get all techie, and you can get all wound up and get, you know, go to English class and you will, won't produce your book because you'll be so busy trying to get it right. The reason for becoming a self-published author is so you can have the creative freedom. Do you understand? Remember back in the day when everybody would get on record labels and um, get signed and they would have to do whatever they had to do, you know, wear the shiny suits and all of those different things. But now people are independent artists so they can own who they are, so they can be free. And that's why I'm talking to you. So you can be authentically you. So you can be who you were called to be and write your book and your story. The only thing that my prayer for you is that you will write from a healed place. And that's why I'm offering the Triumph Over Trauma course for us to rock out together. So if you can talk, you can write. Now, just like you, uh, I write just like I talk. So some people may, you know, have a problem or have some suggestions about that, but I'm pretty cool with that. You know, I was thinking about Moses when he went to the mountain in the Ten Commandments and he was like this, you know, he chiseling what God said, like, don't, 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 don't. There was no explanation marks and no periods then, but I do respect English and I understand that there's English rules. But what I want to say to you is anything that will hold you back, any barrier that would try to come up. I break it right now, okay? And so um, I'm just letting you know. So step two, formatting and layout. All of this is housed inside the KDP, the Kindle Direct Publishing. So great news. They can help you with that. And guess what, guys? We live in a stage, in an age, in a time right now where you are able, even if you go to a site and something seems confusing, you can Google it. And if you don't like the way one person said it, you can go to YouTube and get another person to explain it to you. You feel what I'm saying? Step three, your book cover design. And let me know if I'm going too fast. Let me see what you guys are saying. Where you at? Check. Okay, yeah. It's KDP. Mm-hmm. Kindle Direct Publishing. 
And you said, do it cost much for it? What do you mean, does it cost much for what, uh, sweetie? Hey, Denise, welcome. Yeah, so um, so does it cost much for what? Because when you, when, so when you get your ISBN number, you can get a, a couple of ISBN numbers. You can buy 10 at a time for, I believe it might, might be, um, don't quote me on it, but you can, when you go to that site that I just gave you, ISBN, matter of fact, Let's see, let me pull it up. You can get an ISBN, you can get one for like, I think it's under $100, or it might be 125 for one ISBN number. But if you don't have that money, don't let that be your excuse. Don't make excuses. This is what I'm saying. Don't sit here and, and listen for what it is you don't have. I'm explaining to you that when I wrote my book, I didn't have an ISBN number. I'm explaining to you when I wrote my book, I didn't have but probably $40. I invested my last $100 in a webinar that I took with somebody and I didn't even use the tools that they told me. And when I say that, I mean, I didn't even go the route and the different ways that they went, right? Um, and so can I go back to two? Sure. And we're gonna do Q and A at the end. Well, let's go back to two. What is it that you want to see at two? Book format and layout. Can I move this box over here? Yeah, it sure can. Ow. Okay. Here you go. Book format. Uh-huh. And so when you when you say and go back to two, actually when you get ready to upload your book and do your book format and layout you will see because there'll be guidelines. You know how something has to fit in a box. You've ever tried to send a picture and it said it needs to be this size. So that's what will happen when you go to KDP. They'll say this file needs to look like this. And before you actually print your book, they'll be able to, um, they'll be able to, before you print your book, you'll be able to preview it. So you can say, oh, I don't like it. I wanna move this around. I wanna do that. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, I'll leave it right there for you guys. Let me know what else. Is that good? Do you need to get the ISBN number before the book is finished? Also, do we need more than one? If you plan on having more than one book, I recommend, um, I just bought 10 ISBN numbers because I plan on having plenty books. So guys, um, here it is for you right there. Let me know if that's good enough. All right, and so we good? Okay, cool, everybody said we good. So book cover and design is the same thing when you go inside of KDP, they'll work with you, they'll tell you what doesn't work for them. You can also, um, oh, another thing, when you finish writing your book, if you, it is definitely recommended that you get an editor. You can hire an editor on Fiverr, it's a site that's located, I have the resource, in this uh, book also. And you can also get your own editor, okay? You can put on Facebook, hey, I'm looking for an editor, right? Have somebody read it. You don't wanna proofread your own book because there still can be something that you're missing, okay? So make sure you do that. Book cover design, the same thing. Now Canva, this is what I want to talk to you about. Canva is my friend. Canva is awesome. Those of you that don't know about Canva, please tune in, lock in right now. Canva, you can create covers, you can create flyers, you can create all type of amazing things. Before this webinar is over, I'm going to create a flyer on here with you guys so you can even see how you can create not just a flyer, but even an ebook. This ebook that you're looking at right now was created on Canva. Okay, now, um, yes. And so now step four, here we go. Oh, and here's the information right here. So you have three options, KDP design, or Canva, outsourced with Fiverr, F-I-V-V-E-R. You are not limited to what I'm saying. You are able to just design all over the place, okay? Um, and now step four, how to self-publish and print. Kindle Direct Publishing, that's a one-stop shop. That's who I use, right? Um, but if you got, you wanna use somebody else different, feel free, go ahead, um, research other people, but I'm talking to you about a proven result, okay? So I'm super excited for you. Now, um, 
You guys good? Ah, awesome. Okay. And so now I'm super excited because um, KDP handles the printing. So let's talk about this, y'all. Let me, let me, I'm about to drop some gems on you. You ready? Now check this out. So you may say, okay, I have a book, right? I'm doing this book and I need people to buy this book because I need to buy my own book. What am I saying? Once you put everything in the computer system, right? Let's suppose you went the $0 amount, right? Um, and you put everything in the computer system. KDP has all of your information. You are ready now as an author to buy author copies, even to get a sample copy. So what has to take place? You have to order it. So depending on the size of your book, you can pick the size of your book, pages, all of that. This is all, this is all you. You are the creative, right? And so now when you click, let me, okay, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm only giving y'all the source because we on this webinar, okay? This book right here, $2.15. Talk to me. It's selling for $25. I paid $2.15. Plus shipping and handling. But do you understand what I'm saying? For them to print it. They printed it. An 88-page book. $2.15. Even with the shipping and handling, even if they charge me $5, I still just made $20. So why do you want to have author copies? Okay, you want to have author copies. So when you pull up at the gas station, you could pop the trunk and master P that thing. Oh, na 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 na. You understand what I'm saying? You want to sell your book. So you are super lit. Do it. Uh, uh, that ain't every, that's the only wild I'm getting. Two wilds. Are y'all serious right now? Like, so you can use Kindle Direct Publishing and you can make super duper money. Yes. So, um, yes. So this is what I'm saying to you. You want to go ahead and write your book. Okay. Write your book. Get it out. Get it going. Super excited. And so $2.15, I pay for my book. So first I got like five copies. But even if you like, you know what? I don't even have $2.15. Let's bring that thing back. You understand what I'm saying? If you don't even have $2.15, cool. Don't even worry about it. Guess what? You can set up pre-orders. Yes, my friend. That's what I did. Before my book was out, I went on Canva. I made a flyer. I made a 3D mock-up. Okay, you may say, what in the world is that? I made a picture of a book that looked like my book was already printed. And I can show you how to do that for free, right? A picture of a book that was already printed. And so it looked like my book was already out and ready to go. And I said, listen, pre-order it now. And I received pre-orders. I received about 20 pre-orders before my book was even out with a tentative date to three weeks. So they basically gave me the money that I needed to order my author copies. I used what I had to get what I needed. You understand me? And so that can be you too. There is no excuse. All right, so let's get through this thing because time is moving. Okay, so um, that's that. Step five, what you need to sell your book, you need to be able to collect them shmoneys, right? And so you need to be able to set that up. So um, here we go. What you need to sell your book. When you create your book, you'll also sell it for the amount that you decide. You create the money. So even if you go that route and you're like, well, Amazon is publishing or Amazon is going to get some of my money. Well, Amazon is going to put your book on Amazon. Let Amazon rock. And then you will get royalty checks when your book does sell. They come not once a month. They come every so often. But still, at the end of the day, that's lit. That's amazing. Um, when it was lit, Creative Space, it also went to Barnes and Nobles. I'm not sure if it still goes to Barnes and Nobles too, but we can figure it out. The book opened doors. Because of this book, somebody connected in and locked in on my um, Operation Greater program. And then they did a little, another program. Listen, all of us have different things. River mentioned multitasking. We have so many things that we do, but it is so important that you focus on the one thing that will open the doors for the many things. Let's, oh, let me do this joke. Let me say that because I don't think y'all heard me. Come on, words. Let me say that because I don't think y'all heard me. Let's focus on the one thing. I'm going to repeat that. <laughs> Let's focus on the one thing that will open the doors for many, many other things. So because of this book, now I'm going speaking at a retreat coming up. 
And that's exciting, right? That's And that's opening the door. But not only that, after you speak, you'll have your product table. We already talked about that. But look at this. So everything I just told you right here is right here. $2.15 cent for the shipping. Do the math before you set the price. Remember, the profit is only what you make after the expenses. So now let's talk money. You need a bank account so you can attach it to the following app. So you definitely want to get um PayPal, right? And don't be, if you're scary about apps and getting money, then listen, this is not a place for fear. This is the no fear zone. This is a triumph over trauma land. Okay, so here we go. Um, so there are different ways to collect money. Zelle, Cash App, Square, Vimo. No reason for a person to say no to you when you have all these apps. They're like, you got Apple Pay? Hold on. Let me get an Apple phone and get Apple Pay. Okay, now I got an Apple phone. But um, <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So just get with it. Tips and bonuses. Listen up. What you're about to do is major, and I need you to understand that you are leaving a legacy, okay? You're leaving something in the earth. Be sure that you are letting your light shine. And that's what we talked about earlier, letting your light shine. So even when you're writing from a place of forgiveness, let me put this down, because it's not about my book. It's about your book. It's about you, boo, okay? And so um, let your light shine. I pray that as you read this, that in your heart, um, that it's formatted in forgiveness. And that you will heal even the more as you write, that you have the chance to help the world um, and that your book will travel places that you won't and touch the lives of many. So you can be an impact and influence. Right. I just add that in there. But um, so be a responsible writer. OK, and thank you for being bold enough to share your story. I believe in the greater in you and you all have all the information you need now. Right. Um, and I also teach this course where there's also five ways to create income from your book, one of them being how to set up a podcast. So if you haven't already, holler at me. I'm excited for you. Now you go and just write. So I am excited. Let me stop sharing the screen. How do I do that? Screen share, stop. Let me see what y'all talking about out here in these, in these triumphant streets. Where we at? Where we at? Hey, look at the chat going crazy. Okay, yes, I'm so excited. Yes, focus on one thing that's going to open up many, many, many doors. And so now that's just not it. Now, um, there's, there's more, okay? <laughs> so there is more um, testimonies. The good thing is, um, oh, do I have it? I don't even think I have it right here. Well, um, I'm so excited because after creating that ebook in Canva, right? I then realized that even as we write, people say they have things like writer's block and, oh, I'm stuck. And sometimes we get overwhelmed. And so let's do this. <laughs> is, is, do you, does anybody, anybody get overwhelmed? Just talk to me in the chat real quick. Do you get overwhelmed? Like, tell me the truth. Do you get overwhelmed? Do you? No. Where you at? Let's see. Does anybody get overwhelmed? Okay, definitely. All right, we got some folks that get overwhelmed. Let's let's do this. Let me share this screen again. I'm liking the share screen. So tell me, do y'all see this picture? What do y'all see in this picture right now? My chat disappeared. Um, what do you see? Groceries, right? You should see groceries. Yeah, you see groceries. You see groceries. So what happens when you go to the supermarket? First of all, the groceries are not all over the place when you go in a supermarket. The groceries are categorized. The groceries are in section. The groceries are organized. What happens when you, when you get home? What happens? Now the groceries are in the bag, <laughs> right? And you have to separate them, right? You, you got to separate the groceries and you have to put them where they go. These are your thoughts. Talk to me, author. These are your thoughts. So what we're going to be doing is separating the groceries. In, in this shopping cart, it looks crazy. Inside these bags, you know, the, the groceries are all over the place. So that's an overwhelming moment. You understand? That's overwhelming. Like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do with all of these thoughts? What, what, where are they going to go? Like, I have to put them somewhere. Separate the groceries. When you're writing, it could be past, present, future. Separate the groceries. You understand what I'm saying? Whatever that looks like for you, if you're a teacher, you feel what I'm saying? The lessons, let's, let's start from the beginning. 
separate the groceries. Like you're okay. Do it one day at a time. It doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be small. It doesn't have to be medium. Guess what? It can be whatever you want it to be because you are the author. You are the creator. You are free. Now that's a hard truth right there. The fact that you're free to create, you're free to do what you want to do. That's amazing. That right there is amazing. So we did the unclogged sink. We talked about separating the groceries, but sometimes you might not know how to separate the groceries on your own. So you're like, okay, what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? And so let's just go through uh, this. Let's, let's just do this Canva example together. I want to show you. Uh, don't do that. Just don't tell me I need a new password. Let's just, I have company Canva. Be nice. Okay. Okay, so now we're in Canva. All right. So that makes sense. You guys down with sorting the groceries. And, and that's what I'm here for to help you sort through the groceries. See, I wrote my book. I wrote a workbook for my book. I begin to coach people how to get through their issues. I created a group called I Got Issues where we talk about, you know, how to get over. That's the book. The, the book created its own lane. People started calling me to come speak about that. Then when I got invited to be a host of a radio show, which I'm now the international radio show host of Pure Truth on RCR Network, Brazilian Christian Radio, with over 6 million listeners. I didn't even know two people were listening. Six million? But when I got invited for that, they interviewed a couple people. And when they looked at my YouTube and they saw my book, we talking book again. You feel me? And so your book will make room for you. Why? Because you're sharing your gift of life. You're sharing your story. So now it's time for you to separate the groceries. Now it's time for you to walk through this thing. I gave you all that information. And if you've already signed up for the course, shots out to you. If you've already gotten my ebook, I got a group called The Grapes. These are the, the next wave of the writers. It's like over 12 of us in this class and it's amazing, it's extensive. And um, I'm gonna show you something in Canva and we're gonna talk about that in just a second. But after I wrote my book, I made a workbook to help people walk through their process. Then people begin to call me and ask me, could I mentor them? Could I help them? Then I started coaching them. I didn't think I was a coach, let alone an author, let alone somebody to write a workbook, right? And then now the first book that I helped publish under Holy Hood <laughs> Publishing was my best friend, Toya. She has a book called Me First, an awesome book. Oh my goodness, with daily devotions. And when I say it's so amazing, for the person that, you know, needed just a quick minute, it gives you a song, it gives you a prayer, it gives you exactly what you need. Um, a song, a prayer, a reference to a quote or a scripture, awesome day starter. So I helped her write her book. Then I helped others write their book. And then before you knew it, I was like, hey, wait a minute. I'm not trying to be a publisher. I wanna teach people how to fish. I wanna teach you how to get the whole bag. So do me a favor. Don't be lazy. Don't not get $25,000 because of laziness. You understand? We spend time, you, you, many of you probably got up and went to work today. I didn't. I'm working for me. I'm pushing my dream. And I don't say, I say that humbly. I say, because now my book is paying my bills. When I didn't have money to even pay for my book, when I didn't have money, when I, let me tell you something, that $99 I paid for a webinar, it was my light bill money. I invested that money in writing a book. I didn't even want to write that book, but I invested in it. I had another book I wanted to write, Holy Who, Yes, You Can Live a Life of Holiness. But the point is my obedience. Some of you may experience that you might start writing a book right now and it may change even in the course. You may get a whole nother book, but my obedience produced this book that I thought I wasn't ready to write. So don't be surprised if a shift takes place, even as you hear me speak, even as we, you know, don't, don't be surprised. And so if you have a podcast, if whatever it is, 
the book is in you. Let's write it. Let's get to the 20, the 25,000. Once I saw that, I was like, hold on. That's major. You, we major. Come on, instead of we major. So I, I was like, hold on. I need to sell some more books. And no, I didn't pay for advertisement anywhere. Anywhere did you see me say pay for advertisement? Hello? But what I'm saying to you is I did. This was me working for me on a medium level. Imagine if I go super hard. And now I want to show you because that's a proven tactic that works. I just gave you my confidential information. You feel what I'm saying? I just told you everything that I did that's already proven. And so I'm excited for you because you're an author. There's a story in you, you overcame that. And so imagine living a life stress-free, right? Imagine no financial barriers because now you, you press and you push. From a book, you can create a course. There's so many things you can do, but first let's talk about writing the book. Now, if you want to journey with me during writing the book, let me tell you what I got going on. We're going to create it together, okay? Um, am I still in share screen? Yep, I'm still in share screen. So now we're on Canva. And when you go to Canva home, look, you can look at all the designs. Look, this is me trying to do, this is me trying to do something for y'all that just ain't happen. <laughs> oh, this is something else that the other writers get. The people that are in the writer's workshop, this is a writer's workbook that helped them with writing exercises to remove procrastination, to remove writer's block and all of that. Yeah, this is something that helps you look. Write it out, then get it right. Stop trying to be perfect, yep. Oh, this is lit. That's, yeah. So we're going to back up out of that. Okay, hold on. Don't y'all, nah, uh, uh, uh. That's for the people in the class. And so, yeah, I love Canva too. And so now here we go. All of your designs. So now, another thing that the people that are part of uh, my private group, the writer's class, we authors, inf um, authors, affirmation, and a pledge. I am great. I'm a great writer. Authors pledge. I am committed to writing my book. I pledge allegiance to the greatness within me. Uh, 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 come on now. Yeah, like it, it's lit. So what's happening, guys? And this is a surprise. So surprise to the people that's in the group. Let's find a template first. So we are on Canva, and this is the same way you would create an ebook. Anything that you need, you can just type. I'm trying to move this little box. Where it says create design, you see it? And you can just type what you want. So if you want to do an ebook, you can type ebook. It might come up ebook cover. And this is a bonus for you guys that's on here. And then we're going to do Q&A in about six minutes. So you can pick this. And what you want the ebook to be called? Um, come on. Listen, we got company. You want to do me like this? I'm trying to show the people how to write. Okay, let's. Let's do. Okay, click on this. You see, you click on the letters, erase the words. Hello. Okay, just as simple as that. River, uh, you just type, you click on it. No, you don't do that. But you guys know how to type. So you go on here, you go to the templates, and then you type names and you do that. So if this is going to be your ebook cover, and if you want to change this background right here, you click this. Not that, you click this and that can change the picture. You see, and you can upload another picture. But we're not gonna go into pictures and all that. But now how do you make this an ebook? Look, add page. And then now what do you do? You go right here where it says text, hit text. You're gonna do subheading. I just did that because it's a bigger writing. Hello, I am learning. No, you should know how to spell learning. <laughs> I am learning. So you see that and you just keep typing, typing, typing. So this is how you would create an ebook in Canva. So this is just a freebie for you hopping on. This is just a gift for you. But uh, what I want to show you now, let's go to templates. Let's go home. And I want to invite you to get exactly what you need. And I also want to share a surprise. So let's go right here. I'm going to do this. Now to everybody that's on this message, want to do something. I am offering something super amazing. So I'm offering to journey with you for six weeks. 
I uh, <laughs> I have something called the triumphant kid. Are you ready? Are you? So we're gonna put this here. Now y'all talk to me. If you have questions, go ahead and put it in the chat. Triumph. Kid. Come on. Now you guys see what I'm doing? We're learning. Triumph kit. Now what is it? And we're doing this together. So this is the same way how you would make your book flyer, anything else. And so in a triumph kit, what is that? So for the people who are already, who have already registered for the class and that are already inside my class right now, I'm super excited to let you know that we will be journeying together for the rest of the six weeks. I'm going live with you. Yes, I am going live with you once a week. I am doing sessions with you, right? For six weeks, we are going to write your book. So we're doing six weeks writing sessions. For those of you who are not in the class and you don't know what I'm talking about, well, I'm offering you a class. I have the Triumph Over Trauma class, which has a private uh, Facebook group that you can get access to. I'm so excited about that private Facebook group. You also will get the workbook that we just looked at, the writer's workbook um, packet and um, writer's workbook. And you will also get 15 uh, minutes with me. We get to do a private writing session, but not to mention that you will get me for the rest of the year. And we're going to talk about marketing strategies and I'll be able to work with you hands on in the group in regards to where you are and you'll be part of a community. So if you're already signed up in the group, you already lit. We are going to go through this thing six weeks. And before this 2020 is over, you'll be way more closer to your dream than possible, right? Because you're going to put in the effort. So I'm super excited. So the writer's workbook, and you get that ebook that I just showed you guys with the five steps. So if you missed something while we were watching it, right? And so I'm super excited. Let's go right here. I got, oh, I don't want to do that. And um, so you guys, let me know. Do you have any questions, um, anything like that? And so, yeah, just know when people are asking, how do they sign up? Okay, so what, because actually, you know, the class was closed. I hadn't planned on doing um, any other classes. I had planned on just sticking with the people that I had. And um, it's just amazing that uh, it, it didn't work out that way because there's so many people um that was interested so if you're interested in signing up for the course to be with me to be part of the community to triumph over your trauma to get your book actually written so if you have questions and answers you don't have to worry about going to youtube or google you'll have access directly to me in our triumph over trauma group the link is right there you can sign up um, i'm super excited six week writer sessions you get the class you get the private Facebook group, you get the writer's workbook, you get the ebook. This is called the Triumph Kit, okay? So you get the uh, the ebook with the five steps, and you get the 15 minutes with me after you got all your stuff going on already together. And um, I'm super excited. You don't see the link? It's right there. Oh, because I put all panelists. I ain't do it right. Okay, that's right. First webinar mistake. Bam, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> So I'm super excited, guys. I am grateful that you hopped on this webinar. Let me look over these notes and see um, if I miss anything. But remember that you are important. You matter. You count. And this is so much. Um, this, this is so much. And this is so huge. And this is so big. This is so important. This is so special. I am so honored to be here with you in this process. I am grateful for you allowing me to walk with you through this process. So if you are excited and you ready for the six weeks of these private sessions, um, if, the, if you're ready to do the class, the class is already lit, we already working. Um, if you are excited about the private Facebook group where you get exclusive access to me and the other writers who are already pushing through um, the writer's workbook, I'm so excited. The writer's workbook um, and also the ebook to the five steps. But the writer's workbook is really, really um, 
really awesome. So yes, and the class is the the triumphant kit that includes everything is ninety seven dollars, and that's the special that is going for today. And that's the link right there. And um, I'm just so excited. So let me stop sharing screen. Stop share. Let me see how y'all doing. What y'all saying over here? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How was the class? How did it work out? Let me see the Q&A. Okay, we got 26 people in the house. Woo, woo. Okay, so, oh, first time author. All right, somebody said they was publishing. Okay, right. Started, had some setbacks on proofreaders. Yeah, and you know something? When you have people, oh, yeah, we could do some layaway. Who needs some layaway? You need some layaway? Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> okay, so, um, yes, yeah, let me know. But, um. Yeah, so right now, um, even if you have a setback, right? So if you have somebody edit in, skip it. Find another editor. <laughs> you know, there is going to be no holdup in your process. You understand what I'm saying? And so um, does anybody have any questions? Okay, you having difficulty, uh, Kalila, having difficulty starting a publication? Okay, so what you mean? What's going on with that, sis? Talk to me about that. Anybody have any questions? Go ahead, put your questions in the chat. But I'm excited, y'all. I, I am super hyped. I'm clicking done on these questions. Because this is just the beginning. I'm getting ready to move on to the um to the next level. Hey, Kim Jones. I'm getting ready to move on to the next level and I'm starting producing um working or well, writing scripts and doing movies, right? And so it's so important, even as I'm going up to another level that I bring my people up to another level. You feel what I'm saying? And so, um, yeah, okay. And so what do we got right here? When should we submit our application for the copyright? Once you finish it. So once you finish it and it's edited and that you know before you want to send it to print, that's because that's what you want copyright. You understand what I'm saying? So that's what you, you, it's just like a song that you send to get mixed and mastered. When are you going to send that song in to get mastered when it's finished? Does that make sense? Um, and so Toya says, what's the reasonable size book? That's an awesome question. And so if you feel like yours is too drawn out, what you could do, break it up, break it up, break it up, break it up. You feel what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be, because guess what? You have creative rights. It's all about you. So you make that decision and you decide. You you decide. So look at it. And of course, when you looking at stuff from a different type of view, it's like, oh, I don't remember. This is our first time doing it. And you don't want to overthink. Like imagine this webinar, man. I was sitting here trying to do templates and I had big plans. <laughs> I was gonna put the pictures in the groceries. I I had so much stuff that I wanted to do, and it's like, girl, get on a webinar. You the template, <laughs> and then show the people. You feel me? So you got to learn how to write an ebook on here. Did this give you value? Like, did this bless you? Was this worth your time? Like, talk to me. I mean, did you get more than you expected? Let me know. Okay, let me read this. A reasonable size book. Yeah, so you you actually set the tone. Just like if you was, you know, doing an album. It's all on you. I think my problem is wanting to put every detail in one book, right? When it actually may be several books. Yeah, and the thing is you want to finish. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about timing because we can be forever adding and we can always, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. If I was going to do the perfect webinar, which that's what I planned on doing, <laughs> the perfect webinar, I would still be fixing the webinar up. Like I would have my light right here. The sun was up, the sun went down. Are y'all enjoying the view? And, and by the way, all of this is for you. So you can just see the greater, so you can see greatness. So I want you guys to understand um, that's your status. You are penthouse status. You are big willy. <laughs> you know, you, you are awesome. You are amazing. You are great. And this is the, the next level. We are all going to a higher greater level i'm lady tata great and i believe in the greater in you okay and so uh what does the type setting or interior design of the book who does that well, you do that see this is the thing about us 
unless you hire somebody else to do it, but it's not necessary to hire anybody else. You can use what you have. So type in Word, type in your notes. Let me tell you something, Latoya, uh, Latoya Ross on this uh, webinar, the one where I told you who her book is, Me First, who I self-published her book for her. Do you understand? She didn't even have a computer when she wrote her book. She wrote her book on a phone, a cell phone, guys a cell phone she talked and so and if you are having trouble and let's talk about this too if you're having trouble with okay well sometime i write um and like me i write all over everything little pieces of paper great ideas always come to me i hit record on my phone and i talk sometimes i got stuff on the phone i got stuff over here i got everything everywhere right sort the groceries that's why it's so important to have an accountability group that's why it's so important to be around people who can say, hey, Monica, how you doing? Hey, Patricia, what's going on with you? You feel me? Like, where are you? At some point, somebody has to say, okay, yes, you want to be writing, but you don't want to get published in heaven. You don't, well, you, you understand what I'm saying? You don't want to not be here any longer and your book never got produced. And I'm just saying that to you because many people of uh, Dr. Miles Monroe, amazing person, he didn't even think that he was supposed to be an author, he said. He was like, who, me? And he shared that people don't write because of lack of confidence. And so I'm so excited that that's not your portion, right? That's not you. We have to sort the groceries. You go in a supermarket. If the supermarket didn't have it organized, you wouldn't know where to get it. So right now I'm the supermarket. That ebook that I just gave you, five steps that I just showed you, five steps on how to self-publish your book, that's the supermarket. You just came here and you can see what you need. Now you get in all the stuff you need and now you're going to go back home and it's bagged up, right? When you get off this webinar, it's bagged up. Now you got to unpack it. You may have trouble unpacking that thing yourself. That's why I'm like, yo, I'll add your girl. Click the link. Hop on. $97. $25 four times. For real? And then you'll be able to make $25,000. i am telling you everything that I know. Do you know how we got here right now? A couple of months ago, about three months ago, LL Cool J puts me on his live. And he's asking me questions about what? Daddy issues. Asking me questions about daddy issues. My book sales went skyrocketed. They took my book and put it in the Rock the Bells Hall of Fame. Like, do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, can you guys hear me still? Let me know if you can hear me because this ear part was like, we ain't even doing it. So if you can hear me, put it, I can hear you. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a question in here. Okay, excellent. And so this is, this is what happened. He brought the book back to life. Now I'm trying to move on and go to Operation Greater. I'm trying to move on and do all these other programs and all these other things. But guess what? Daddy issues. <laughs> Just like the resurrection. Like what is going on? And so now, yeah. And so now because of all the questions about the book and so many people like, man, you did that on your own. How'd you do it? And I shared with them like, yeah. This is what I did. And then there's so many other people trying to write the book and they get stuck in the process because not everybody wants to hold your hand. People want to either take all your money, thousands and thousands of dollars, and I'm not knocking anybody with their prices. But I just understand that I have a passion for this. I wrote while I was in pain and I healed in that process. I know what it's like to walk on eggshells and try to be careful and not offend everybody. But the whole window just knocked and nobody is a window y'all ain't nobody there it's the outside window <laughs> so we doing something right heaven is knocking the angels is here <laughs> so i'm like oh, okay <laughs> but listen thank you for being on this webinar thank you for believing in yourself I'm so excited. And uh, the longer we just go on six more minutes, because I said it was going to be an hour and 15 minutes. So uh, the 608 now, I thank you so much for your time. You are valued. You are loved. You are important. You are amazing. Uh, this is the link. Um, get it. 
if you're going to get it, uh, the class is closing. I do not plan on opening um, this type of thing up again, because what's going to happen is I'm journeying the rest of the six weeks with everybody. And we're starting the journey now and we're going together. You understand what I'm saying? And so as we go together, we're not going back. <laughs> it's like it's like getting in the ark. The ark is open. Everybody get in now. According to me, the ark was already closed. But listen, I wrote my book three years ago and I was done with it. I'm still trying to write the first book I was trying to write. Okay, that was a cookbook. And the second book was The Holy Who Yes You. But there is something on this book. This book teaches people how to reconcile. Oh, and another thing I want to share with you guys, work on your about the author. Okay, uh, find something nice to say about yourself. Read other people's <laughs> about the author, the back part, okay, of what it says. Mine says, to Tanya Verdon Johnson, known as Lady Ty, it was raised in Queens, New York, in the culture of hip hop, and the entrepreneur at the age of 16, blah, blah, blah. So find something nice to say about yourself so that can go on the back of your book, get you a great picture. No, I'm not telling you that you need professional photos. Those are nice, but use what you have. Get your iPhone, your neighbor's iPhone, take a cute picture in portrait mode, and that's it, and then get it going, okay? so. I'm so excited for you. Let me see. Okay, it looks like it's some questions here. Um, okay, I didn't hear anything about the copyright. Okay, De Niro, where you was at? We was talking about the copyright. We gave the website on where you need to go for that inside the beginning. You go and get that and it is $35. And so that's the process that you do after you already wrote everything that you have written. And that's also inside the, um, the ebook how to self-publish. So if you didn't already, um, grab that ebook. Okay, and that link is in my uh, Instagram. I'm about to take it down today though. And River says, what was your process in getting buyers? So my process in getting buyers was just telling people my story, going on Facebook Live, like, hey, putting up posts. That was it. I was heavy on Facebook at that point and I was heavy on a uh, Periscope. That's back in the Periscope days. And people shared my story and that's how that went. So um, answered on a lot. People shared my story and that's how that went. Um, sending it to Kendall, do they copyright? What do you mean? I don't know um, who is Kendall. What do you mean, KDP? If you talking about KDP, no. In order to get it copyright, you have to go to the website, the copyright website, and then they give you all the information on exactly what you need to do and how you need to do it. And yes, there's Quinny Chef. There should be um, a replay, and that should come to everybody who registered for this. Okay. And so um, I'm excited. Where do we watch? Yes. Yeah, so the replay, the replay, how y'all like that? The, the replay will be coming to your, um, to your inbox. And that's Zoom. Now, remember, this is my first webinar, so I'm excited about it. Uh, let's see, whoever tribe in the building, um, let's see what we got. All right, guys, so I'm super excited. I'm proud of you. Just know that I'm great, right? Only because I'm impacting somebody's life and making their life greater. Uh, is is nothing cool about me. I wouldn't be Lady Tata Great if I didn't teach you and help you how to operate your greater. Because I learned something, because I've been through a process, I have a responsibility to you, I feel like, okay, to make uh, this world a better place. And this has been my first webinar. Thank you for journeying with me on this journey. Um, it's your girl, Lady Tata Great. So are y'all excited? Are y'all ready? I believe in you. So thank you for tuning in. Um, and yeah, you're awesome. You're awesome. You, you amazing. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm looking through my notes like, okay, did I tell you everything? Don't forget, sign up for the Triumph Package because you get a workbook, you get the coaching session, you get the six weeks with me, you get the private group access, and you get the writer's course where I help you pull out what's on the inside of you and write it. So you are guaranteed to be a success, right? Um, there's no reason there should be nothing stopping you. So I'm gonna make sure I got all the questions. And, 
And so Patricia says, how do you get the back cover from Canva if you found a front cover? So you use the same book cover. Okay, so to deal with the back cover of your book, the back cover of your book looks like this, right? So this is not something that you can find because your ISBN number has to go here. So this is something that you have to do. And that's a great question, Patricia. This is something that you have to actually do on the KDP site. Remember when we talked about their templates and we talked about their book formatting, this is what you would have to do on the site. So see, I added the logo, you understand? And so, because they wanna make sure you have the about the author and they have different templates and it is fairly easy. Remember, it's a matter of your perspective, how you look at it. And so I want you to begin to look at these things and say, I can do it, all right? And so um, I wanted to come on with some music and all of that stuff. I ain't even do it like that, but I think I'm gonna let y'all exit with this. Um, this is for my authors in my group, but I'm gonna share it with y'all. So maybe y'all go ahead and sign up. Thank you so much, Word. Can y'all hear that? Can y'all hear that? The time is now. The time, the time is now. Your voice matters. You have been chosen. Your story, your testimony will help others. Today is the day. You are committed to getting this out of the way, to producing your book. I speak to the greater on the inside of you, and I command it to rise with power and authority. As a self-published author, I speak to the author within you, and I say, right, writer, right. You are great. You are a great writer. You are creative. You are a great creator. You were chosen to write for this time. You are an author. You are committed to writing your book. You pledge allegiance to yourself. You say no to others today by saying yes to you. I believe in you. You believe in you. Your voice matters. You will impact others' lives. So I'm excited to see your book published. That's it, y'all. I'm gone. That's my time. 616. Y'all made me cry. <laughs> So um, I love y'all and thanks so much for joining the webinar. I believe in the greater in you. You are awesome. You are an author. Don't let another minute or a second go by. I'm here to hold your hand if you let me.